car wash waiting on the person in front of me and get the car rinsed off finally oh yeah I gotta turn my wipers on them. <laughs> the pink stuff clear coat protectant rinse off the pink stuff and I'm home and the car is much much cleaner than it was patches where are you going how you doing kitty well, good Saturday, everyone. Well, got some of my outside chores done. Had to stop by the store, and as you saw, I got the car washed finally. <laughs> so next on today's list is to replace the carpet on my desk. I use a carpet on my desk because it keeps... The so when I'm doing uh, crafts or uh, repair work on some equipment or even just holding my computer, it's nice and grippy. Plus, as you're about to see, there's actually absolutely nothing on the desktop here. This had an old rubberized desktop on it back when it was a new desk. But when we reclaimed it from an old oil field website, uh, we had to scrape off all the old dried out and crumbly rubber. And I put a piece of And I had a rug that I wasn't really using. I threw it on top of here, stapled it down, and it worked for 20 years. Time to replace. Now, if you're asking why I didn't put a more hard top of finish on the desktop, like glass or formica or even linoleum, well, I just didn't have it in the Yeah, it just wasn't in the budget. And this uh, really low uh, nap carpet uh, just worked very well for what I need. So I got a new one. I got a nice red rug. Uh, very cheap, uh, under 20 bucks, And I'm going to put that on there. And while I'm working, I'm going to fire up some Spotify and play the Blog Oklahoma bonus playlist. I have over seven hours of music in this playlist. Put it on random and I'm good to go. Well, got the desk all cleaned up. So now to pull it up. Now I do have some staples down here. I'm going to have to pull up when I get it up. But let's see what's under here. I'm going to need to go get the vacuum cleaner. Look at this dust. That's 20 years worth of dust that has soaked through that rug. And as you can see, this, this uh, rug has survived uh, spilling coffee, tea, water, soda, all sorts of things, and numerous, numerous cat peas. Ugh, stupid baby cat. She's the one that kept peeing on that desk. All right, carpet disposed of, and I got the top completely vacuumed up. Still looks like crap, doesn't it? Here's a 20 year old patch. <laughs> Just a piece of cardboard with some tape down. I need to retape it before I do. See, there's nothing to the desk there. Got a little overkill with the staples, but uh, I put a new patch down. Had to use the blue painter's tape because I couldn't find my duct tape. Oh well, it'll work. Brand new staple gun. It's a very light duty staple gun. Cost about eight bucks, plus whatever the cost of the staples were. Handy little tool. If you've never used a staple gun like this before, uh, you load it by pulling on this like that and you put the staples in upside down right and you just put the staples in upside down you can see they're upside down and then you just 
latch it closed. Kind of hard to do one-handed, but there. And it's loaded. And to use a staple gun, just put it down like so. And staple. That's it. Yeah, I know. You know how to use a staple gun. Well, now you just had a refresher course. <laughs> Soda time. Nice Diet Right Pure Zero Cola. I like this stuff. This desktop is approximately five by three feet. Um, it's kind of hard to find rugs that size, so I got a five by seven I'm going to use. Now I'm not going to cut the rug. I'm just going to put it down, and the excess is just going to hang up over the back, and that's just good enough for this kind of project. So you can see here, this is a Mohawk. Great American rug. I never noticed the name brand before, but uh, this is what I'm putting down. And there we go. I am not a professional carpet layer, obviously, but uh, over time it'll flatten out as it ages. And when I first put that brown rug on 20 years ago, damn, that was a long time ago. That uh, it uh, did the same thing, and eventually over time it'll completely flatten out. So uh, it'll work out. Uh, ended up did cut the rug. It's a little longer than I was expecting. So, and over time, you won't even notice where the staples are. Had to staple it flat. <laughs> but there we go. New reupholstered. My new reupholstered desk. Now I gotta clean up and put everything back on it. Had to take the top off. Of the uh, I have to readjust the. Uh, desk when I moved it a minute ago the uh, back slat popped out so I put that back in as you can see this is old beat up desk that's what the inside of a desk looks like and here it is all set up again with the podcasting equipment need to move my uh, whiteboard back over here there's my printer laptop all set up podcasting gear that's my mixing board this is a Behringer Zenix 802 mixing board lets me do two mics and uh, mix minus so I could do Skype calls this is my MXL 990 microphone I've had this one for quite a while um, I really enjoy using it this is my Behringer U-Control UCA202 USB interface. It connects the mixing board to the laptop. And this is my Dell Inspiron laptop. I had this one for a while too. It's time to upgrade, but I just bought an iPhone, so no. And here's my old iPhone that I'm filming with the new one. Um, I use this uh, when I uh, do the Snapchat for Blog Oklahoma tomorrow. And uh, I've been listening to the Blog Oklahoma bonus playlist on Spotify all afternoon. It's a really good mix of all sorts of music. Here are our games for family game night. If we ever had a family game night. Here's my old Atari. No, not really. Got Jack all ready for baseball season. Got his cup hat on. Got my old ball and glove out. I'm ready for baseball. How about you? And now I get to take the trash out. Fine. Well, time to relax for a bit. That was a lot harder than I anticipated. <laughs>